The Maldives is holding its first presidential elections since its former leader stepped down in what he described as a coup cool last year. Former President Mohamed Nasheed is contesting Saturday's poll and says he is fairly confident he will win. His successor President Mohamed Waid Hassan Manak is also running and has consistently rejected the coup claim. The Maldives held its first free elections in 2008, following decades of autocratic rule. Mr. Nasheed, a pro-democracy campaigner, became the country's first democratically elected president in that poll. However, he resigned in February 2012 after security officials joined opposition-led protests over the arrest of a senior judge. The judge, Abdullah Mohammed, was detained in January 2012 after ordering the release of an opposition politician. Mr. Nasheed said he was stepping down to prevent bloodshed but later said he was forced to resign at gunpoint by police and army officers. Mr. Waid, who was vice president at the time, replaced him. The leadership change sparked political unrest, leading to fears that the protest would impact on the island's tourism industry. Hundreds of protesters disrupted the opening of parliament in March 2012 and called on President Waid to resign. Confidence Issues Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the UN said he hoped the elections would be credible and peaceful. Key issues in this election include religion, nationalism, education and the economy. Thor Kamd, a representative of poll monitoring group Transparency Maldives, said that the campaigning so far had been conducted smoothly and peacefully. However, there was still some apprehension and confidence issues about the security forces, he said. If none of the candidates wins more than 50 percent of the votes, a runoff will be held on 28 September. Ghazim Ibrahim, a high-profile businessman, and Abdullah Yameen, half-brother of former President Moumoun Abdul Gayoum, are also contesting the presidency. Mr. Gayoum was president of the Maldives for 30 years until 2008, 